Hi there, thanks for staying with us here on STL TV Live. Well, if you find yourself sitting at home bored, I think it's time for you to get off the couch and maybe get a hobby. Well, Holly Berthold from the Missouri Botanical Gardens has some ideas that might help us get off the couch and get creative. And we'll talk a little bit more about that, but you know, being inspired is part of that. And I think visiting one of the Missouri Botanical Gardens campuses can help inspire somebody to really just get out in these winter months. Tell us more about the campuses and you know what the experience is like even in the winter. Sure, you really can get very inspired because we, we have the, the main campus of the Missouri Botanical Garden, uh, which is downtown St. Louis. And then we also have Shaw Nature Reserve, which is out at Gray Summit, which is about 30 minute drive from St. Louis. And then we have the wonderful Butterfly House too. So each of these venues kind of bring a different perspective, but they're all beautiful. For example, the Shaw Nature Reserve is a, is a prairie that Henry Shaw years and years ago took plants out to because there was such a smog problem in St. Louis that <laughs> it was known as our arboretum. And he essentially protected and, con and conserved those plants. So nowadays it, it's used for hiking trails, biking trails. Um, you, can, you can walk down to the river. There's wonderful mushroom hunting. There's wonderful bird watching and things like that. So then you go about 40 minutes to the north and you go to the Sophie, Sophia Sachs Butterfly House, which is in Chesterfield, Missouri. Right. And um, you step into a lush tropical forest. It's just absolutely beautiful. There are so many plants and you know this time of year when it's so dry you need that moisture and that warmth and you step in and you're it's like you're stepping into Costa Rica for you're an hour. You're transported yeah, to a tropical oh, island. Oh it's so nice you just come out going oh so much better. And then, uh, of course, the Botanical Garden here in the city. Yeah. Now, tell us more about the Commerce Bank building. Is that open to visitors? There are classes at okay. the Commerce Bank building, okay. and there are some interesting, there, there's, there's an interpretive monitor that shows there are um, solar panels on the roof, and so you can kind of go in and, and look at that. But um, mostly it's for classes, and boy, they do offer some terrific classes. So let's, we're, we're going to take a little leap into that, because there are, are there classes offered just at the Botanical Gardens here in St. Louis or at all of the campuses? At all of the campuses, okay. definitely, yeah. And Shaw has has classes like some of the trail runs that they do, some of the wreath making that they do, all of these different things. Um, they they really do a neat job out there. The Sophia Sachs Butterfly House, they have great family programs, really neat classes where kids can learn about insects and bugs and butterflies and ecology. So that's really great too. And then of course the main campus has loads to offer. What kind of classes um, do you offer at the main campus? The main campus has every Everything from cooking to wine tasting. Uh, photography is a hugely, hugely popular one. Um, uh, plain air painting, where people go outside and they set up and they just paint what they see. And it's very, as you said earlier, very inspiring. What, um, do you have to be a member of the garden in order to participate in the classes? Absolutely not, no, we welcome everyone. Okay, and I know you mentioned that at the Butterfly House they have things for children, and so are classes for all ages? Absolutely, okay. at all three campuses, they're for all ages, so little bitty kids from three to five year olds just learning how to you know, get outside and turn over rocks and look at stuff to very sophisticated photography classes for people who really know what they're doing. And um, so it's every every age, every gamut that you can possibly imagine. We've talked about getting off the couch and getting a hobby. So really even starting at the beginning, there's something for everyone and it might just develop into some other passion that they didn't know they had, it sounds like. Absolutely, and you know, speaking of just getting up and getting off the couch, today is a very nice day outside yeah. We have lots of visitors that are just, oh, we're so tired of being inside yeah. and this forced heat and everything. So people are Perfect. outside just trekking around and having a good time and, and seeing the bare bones of the garden. And that's wonderful. We're going to take a quick break. But when we come back, I want Holly to stick around and highlight a little bit sure. more about what there is to see in the winter months at the, at the main sure. campus in Missouri Botanical Garden, as well as some great special events that are coming up because we don't want to miss anything. We want to mark our calendars. If you're interested in any of the classes or finding out more about any of the things we've talked about today, visit Missouri Botanical Garden online at mobot.org. All right, we're going to take a quick break, but during the break, I want to encourage you to go check out STL TV on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see you right back here in a bit.